Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful and amazing day just like me. And today I am going to be showing you how to make a, a server or system message um, in Roblox Studio. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started. So in, uh, let's go here, starter player, and then in starter player scripts we're going to insert a local script. And then we'll go and do control A in the backspace just so we can clear everything. Now, inside of this local script, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and type in um, game colon. Oh, no, not colon. Uh, it's dot starter GUI colon set core. Now, inside these parentheses, we're going to go ahead and put in uh, quotation marks. And we're inside these, we're going to say chat make system message so this is basically just telling the server to make or not the server just like telling the script to make a system message so we're going to do comma space and then uh squiggly bracket so we can make a temp table and then enter so there are four different things that we can put in here some of them are optional and some of them are required the first one that we're going to do is required and that is obviously going to be the text of the system message. So let's go ahead and type that in. So it's really simple. We just put in text, not test. Yeah, just text equals, and then now uh, quotation marks. So inside these quotation marks is going to be the text for your uh, chat uh, chat server message or your server message. So what we're going to do is is we're going to make a welcoming message. And it's going to say, welcome to the server, and then the player's name. So, really simple. So, we're just going to say, welcome to the server space. And then, um, outside of these, we're going to do dot dot game dot players dot local player dot name. There we go. And then we have to put a semicolon. And then next, now after this is uh, not required, but I do recommend, and that is the color, so we'll just type in color, uh, equals, and then color three dot from RGB, and then if you want it to be like default white or whatever, then um, yeah, you can just like not do this color step. But if you want to be a different color, you can just use this color wheel by clicking on that color wheel when you're inside these parentheses. Um, and yeah, uh, I'm just going to choose regular old red. And then, uh, you know, I guess we can go a little bit darker red. So then we'll just click OK. And then as you can see, it autofills these RGB values for us. Now, after this, we'll put a semicolon and then enter. Now it's time for the font. Um, so just type in font. And then equals, and then now enum dot font dot, and then now this gives you the list of all the different fonts that Roblox has to offer. I am going to do this one because I like it. <laughs> so now we'll do semicolon, enter. Now this is the last one. It's the size of the text. This is um, not required again, um, but yeah. I the default is 18 so if you don't put a text size uh, oh no uh, if you do want to put a specific text size just put in text size and then equals and then whatever number so yeah um yeah I'm not gonna do a text size but you can the default is 18 that's the regular size so yeah you can always up it up and not yeah so now we're done Let's go ahead and click on play, and then uh, this should work. Um, let's see what that is. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have to put in a wait, or else um, we're going to get an error saying that um, it can't find us. So, yeah, because, like, we have to put in a wait. So, we'll just do uh, wait, and then uh, one second. Now, let's click on play. <clears throat> and... Oh, I meant to put players, not player. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, keep that weight there. Um, we can actually just do 0 0.1. So yeah, 
now we click on play and then now this will work so yeah that's just a simple typo don't worry guys Nah. load i hate it when this happens let's just go ahead and click on stop and then go back into it screen share on my face and as you can see it says welcome to the server and then my roblox name so yeah and this will always run whenever a player joins the game and it'll only show up for them because one it's in a local script so remember it only runs for the client which is like your player and then this will always run whenever they join because the script immediately gets added and then runs when it gets added so yeah um that is how you make a system message if you ever want to change the font or the color you can always do that it's totally up to you but yeah my next video is going to be how to make notifications in roblox you know those little boxes that come up here and says like you got a notification or you got a badge and stuff like that so yeah i will see you in the next video and also if you did make it to this please please like and subscribe to the channel it's totally free and if you do not like my content you can always unsubscribe later and if this video did help you out then please like if you didn't you don't have to but yeah I would really like that. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys had uh, have an amazing day or an amazing night. Peace.